Is Dragon Ball Fighters a good fighting game? Is this the game that we've been waiting for for the longest time as Dragon Ball fans? Are we finally getting what we want? We're going to talk about that right after the intro. Cue it! What's up guys, welcome back to Ghost and Games, and uh, today we are actually going to review Dragon Ball Fighters. Is it what we've been waiting for? Does it hold up to the hype? I mean, is this the game that we've been wanting for a long, long time as Dragon Ball fans? So we're going to answer that, and we're going to be as subjective as possible, because let's face it, we're all Dragon Ball fans, we're all excited and so we kind of have to put aside the hype in order to properly review this game now i will say uh this is you know the review that i'm giving is not going to be uh hindered at all by the server issues that the game is having this is why it's a beta people need to understand that betas mean that there are things that need to be that need to be worked out and that's why they release beta so people can test it out and they can see how much load the servers can take so with that being said, first impressions, the game is a lot of fun as far as the fighting goes. Um, again, I'm not going to, I'm not going to use like, as far as like waiting for a match, I'm not going to use that to hinder the game at all. Um, you know, when I, when, when I'm looking at the beta, I'm just taking this as, okay, it's just things that need to be sorted out. But once the, you get into a fight, it's actually a very, very fun time. The fights are, are fast-paced. They're, uh, you know, when, when you don't have lag issues. Because lag issues happen, uh, especially when you're playing online against other people. That, that happens regardless of the game. Okay, that's not a gaming issue. That's people not having good internet connections or whatever, whatever the issue is. Um, but the... the Graphics-wise, visually, it's a beautiful game. Um, as far as like the way that the characters are, are animated, it's almost like they're straight out of the anime, which I absolutely love. It's a two and a half D uh, type of fighter, meaning that the character models are basically two D, and the backgrounds is three D. Um, you know that that adds more depth to the game. Uh, they did a very good job as far as the super attacks go. Um, as far as the dialogue, the voice acting, it's all there. The only thing that seems to be missing at this point is the Brian Faulkner soundtrack. I mean, if we had that, then holy crap, we'd be in a good old time. Um, but, you know, it's still a fantastic game, like, as far as the fighting goes. It's very, very smooth. And, you know, I've played my fair share of fighters. You know, um, I play Marvel's Capcom, I played Gear for Gear, uh, Street Fighter, you know, um, I didn't play Street Fighter 5, but I have played Street Fighter 4. Uh, I used to play Street Fighter 2 back in the day. Mortal Kombat, you know, the list goes on. Um, but, you know, it, it's, it, it does have some flaws, okay? It does. Um, some flaws include uh, the Dragon Ball uh, system. I absolutely hate the Dragon Ball system. It gives such a, a cheap way to turn the game around without having to, like, without needing any sort of, um, how can I put it, uh, not strategy so much, but, what's the word I'm looking for? <laughs> I, I can't think of it at the moment. Um, skill! There we go. Without having, uh, you know, any skill. Because, when it comes down to it, fighting games are about skill. How well can you do against your opponent? And, you know, the Dragon Ball system, if you're not aware of it, if you collect all seven Dragon Balls, you can basically wish for whatever you want, uh, you know, to an extent. Like, they give you, um, as you can see, I just collected the Dragon Ball. It gives you options. It gives you four options. Uh, one to revive a character, another to, um, uh, to restore health, another to make you immortal. I mean, come on. As far as the immortal thing goes, that is ridiculously cheap. And, and, you know, if you're not aware of what the immortal thing is, basically you're continuously regenerating your health. That is stupid. 
a stupid robot. I mean, they already have a system built in the game where you regenerate your health. Why do you need a secondary one? I don't understand that. What's the point of it? You know, like, boom, right there, now I'm regenerating health. Like, I, I don't see the, the point. It's, it's really bad. It's a, it's a bad concept. Um, you know, yeah, it's a lifesaver, but, I mean, if you're getting wrecked, you're getting wrecked, dude. And then, I, I for example, I, I saw Reinstall, he put up a tweet just about this, too. And, uh, and in his tweet, he mentioned the same issue. It was like, okay, you know, uh, why is there a Dragon Ball thing? If I'm, I'm freaking bodying this dude. And he can go ahead and wish for complete, like to have his health completely back and just turn the game around just in one spell sweep like that. To me, that, that makes absolutely no sense. You know, I I prefer them like to take it out. Just take it out, man. It's uh, it, it's not not something that should be in this type of game. I mean, Sensu Bean, okay, like, Krillin throws the Sensu Bean, but Sensu Bean does nothing. Does absolutely nothing. Um, you know, it's, that's, that's my biggest complaint. One of my other complaints is, uh, I have to say the, uh, the friends, or not the friends, the, what is it, the, the ally skill. Okay, the ally skill, to me... It should give you options, kind of how Marvel's Capcom does it. Marvel's Capcom, they, um, they give you straight up, like, when you pick your character, you, you get to decide how you want your assist to be. And this game doesn't do something like that. It really should. Uh, you know, if you want your, your ally to be an air assist, if you want them to be support assist, or, you know, however you want them to be, that's, honestly, that's how, that's how it should be. Like, don't just make it where it's like, okay, well, each character can only do one thing. No, man, the Dragon Ball characters, allow them to have, like, different options. Put that in the game, man. Don't just be like, oh, okay, Android 18 can only protect with a shield. Where you have, uh, and then you have, like, Krillin throw a rock or a sensor beam. And again, the sensor beam does absolutely nothing. So it's like, what's the point of having the sensor beam if it does nothing? And then you have, uh, you know, Nappa does, like, an air assist, which is cool. Goku does his Kamehameha, which, okay, I mean, you could, you could have him do instant transmission Kamehameha. I mean, there's so many other things that they could take into with this game that they just can't do it. Or they haven't done it. Um... You know, one thing I do like about the fighting specifically is like it, it's not easy to spam attacks. Okay, you, yeah, you can spam stuff, but if you do spam it, it's easy to get out of it. Okay, especially if you know what you're doing, it's very easy to uh, to get out of a spam attack. Um, you know, like there's I don't, I don't know how else to put it. To be honest, with you. It, it's it's just one of those games that it just, it, it's so fluid that you can break out of play and, you know, it, it rewards you for, for doing certain things right, I guess is the best way to put it. Um, I know it's a weird way to, to say something, but, you know, it, it does do that. It rewards you by giving you a good way to, like, if your timing is right, you're going to combo properly. You know, if you, uh, if your timing is right when you block, you're going to block properly. So all those things, go, you know, you take into consideration in this type of game and, you know, it does a good job with it. Like, right here, I'm getting bodied by this kid too because he did a good job at, you know, at comboing that. And, um, you know, that's, that's just how it is. Like, I, 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 overall, it's a good game. Overall, it's a good game. There's improvements that they really do need to be implemented. And like I said, that uh, the Dragon Ball system needs to go. Needs to go. Because like, if you collect all the Dragon Balls, you can just sit on the Dragon Ball and take your absolute need. And, you know, yeah, okay, that's kind of like what it's about. But I would rather actually have the Dragon Balls for something else. Uh, 
you know, like for me, it just it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense to have that Dragon Ball system. So, uh, good things. Okay, good things. The voice acting, the character design, the gameplay is very smooth. Um, you can change the buttons to how you need them to be. Like for me, for example, I'm used to Marvel's Capcom's button layout, so I change the buttons to uh, to how I play Marvel's Capcom. Um, you know, the soundtrack is great. Again, I'd rather have the Falconer soundtrack because it would just fit beautifully in this type of game. Um, uh, let's see, let's see. I mean, this is all just based off of the beta for what we have right now. Um, it's easy to combo things in, again, if you know what you're doing. And then... And then, like... It's just... There's a there's a lot of hype and it, and it's well deserved for the hype. As far as fighting games goes, this is definitely one of the better fighting games I've played. Um, things need improvement. Get rid of the Dragon Ball system or implement it into the story only, or put into casual matches only, not into the ranked matches, because ranked matches are based more off of skill. That would be a better way to uh, to take care of that issue. Um, implement more options as far as assists go. Just like Marvel's Capcom, you click on the character, and then you get to choose what kind of assist that they do, whether it be an air assist, ground attack, support attack, whatever they, you know, whatever they need to be, um, or a burst attack. Like you know, for Vegeta, he's made he's mainly kind of like a straight up in your face fighter, so he will probably do like burst attacks, ground attacks, or ki blast. Uh, Goku will probably be the same. You have Gohan would be aerial, um, ki blast like more strategy based, so aerial ki blast or grappling. Um, and you have like Kid Buu, Kid Buu would be uh, Key Blast, you know, so different things, you get the idea of what I'm, what I'm getting at. Um, you know, like Krillin could be a support, like you call him in and he does uh, Solar Flare, you know, stun the enemy first for a brief second. Things like that, that they could implement into the game that would be really beneficial and they actually could do stuff like that. They have enough time to add the coding in, I'm sure it wouldn't take that much Time to actually just add a menu to change what they do because the moves are already in there like Krillin can already do a solar flare so you just call him in as an assist and he does solar flare instead of throwing a sensu bean or a rock that does nothing so that's just how I feel about the game if I'm gonna rate it off of the beta now I'm gonna do a second review when the game comes out but just strictly off of the beta okay as far as the as far as putting it as it just a strict fighting game goes um, I would give it probably like an 8 out of 10, which is actually really high for me. Um, especially considering that fighting games are not really my favorite genre. It's not my least favorite genre by any means necessary. Um, but it, it's, you know, it's, it's definitely a game that I'm going to be playing a lot because it just feels so good. Like Xenoverse 2, I, mean, I just feel like throwing it out the window because I don't even care for it. The only reason why I bought it was because it's Dragon Ball. But this one, this game, like, I used to play Guilty Gear and in the arcade. I played Marvel's Capcom in the arcade. Now I'm talking about Marvel's Capcom 1 and 2, uh, X-Men vs. Street Fighter. Those were 2D fighters, and they felt so smooth, so fluid. Um, and that's how this game feels. It feels like a Marvel's Capcom 2 game or a Guilty Gear game, which, of course, is made by the Guilty Gear company. But it just has that feel to it, and it's fantastic. I absolutely love that. So, yeah, 8 out of 10 so far just off of the beta. Things could change when the actual game comes out. It could, the rating, I could rate it higher. It could actually go down for all we know. It could make it worse. You know, it's Bandai. They could screw something up somewhere. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the review. Um, don't forget to leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Don't forget about my Dragon Ball Super card game giveaway, which is down below in the description. And I will see you guys in the next Dragon Ball Fighters video, which might be if this if the beta, they don't extend the beta, which might be when the game comes out. But anyways, guys, you guys have a great rest of your day, night, whatever time zone you're at. Peace out, guys.